Hello guys, this is from Mrs. Savvy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Peace Lily collection. As you know from the last video, I'm going to be starting a video series of different plants and how to take care of them and how to decorate with them. The first part of this video, as I promised in the last video, I was going to start this series with showing you my collection of peace lilies. That is the first plant that I'm going to be talking, talking to you about and showing you how you can take care of the peace lilies. So here's my collection and I'm going to zoom in so you can see six of my peace lilies. That one right there is very old. I've had it for a long time and it is doing great. It has new life. It has new bloom. I'm sorry, new leaves coming on it. And then I have that one, the small one right there. It's not growing a whole lot because it keeps it in a low light area. And then that one right there is one of my newer ones and it is very pretty and it has some blooms on it. And I don't care that much for the blooms. Uh, and I show you in a little while why I don't care that much for the bloom. And that one there is a, over a year old and it is doing great. And this pretty baby right here, it is blooming. See? And in some of the videos, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make your peace, your peace lilies bloom several times during the year. There's some things you can do to make sure that they bloom several times during the year. And then I have that one there. And this is the one I want to show you why I don't really care that much for the bloom. See that bloom right there? And look at the leaves. That's a white powder that comes from that bloom and it gets on the leaves. Now I was told that this particular powder is very poisonous. So just be careful about it, but you want to clean it off with a brush, a soft brush, just brush it off and just make sure that your kids and your pets are not around when you are brushing uh, the little white powder off or the peace lilies. And you want to make sure that when you're handling any plant, you wash your hand. Okay, now just gave you a view of my peace lily collection. And the next thing I want to do is I want to give you a few tips on how you can choose beautiful peace lilies from the beginning. Now, if you are a beginner and you're trying to start your plant collection, these tips are for you. And if you already have started your plant collection, no matter how long it's been, and you're having problems with your peace lilies and they look horrible and you want to start over with peace lilies, this, these tips are for you too. My first tip, you may or may not already know this, is that peace lilies are also known as spathophyllum. Sorry, spathophyllums. And I'm going to spell that S-P-A-T-H-I-P-H-Y-L-L-U-M. Spathophyllum. So you need to know that, that there's another name for them. Now, the second tip and the most important tip of this video is if you're starting your plant collection or if you want to start over with your uh, peace lily collection, I'm going to suggest that you buy your peace lily from a local florist only. Now, you don't have to. It's up to you. You could buy your plant from some other place, your peace lily from some other place. But I'm going to suggest that you buy your first peace lily from a local florist. And here's why. At your local florist, 
they buy the best and the healthiest plants of all. Go visit one of your local florists and you will see that all of their plants are very healthy looking. And that's where you want to start because if you buy them from some other store and you're not familiar with how to take care of the peace lilies or you're not familiar with how they're supposed to look, you might buy an unhealthy peace lily. And once you get it home, in a couple of weeks or a month or two, you'll see that the leaves are turning brown, the tips are turning brown, and they begin to look real bad. And then you might get become discouraged. And you may not want to keep up your plant collection because you didn't realize you was buying an unhealthy plant. So that is tip number two is that you want to buy a healthy plant from the start. So if you want to find a local florist, you can go to a website that's called findaflorist.com and, pl and put in your town or city. And a lot of different florists for your town or city will come up. If they don't have one in your town or city, you can put in the city closest to you and you, they will give you some addresses and you can call them and they can, you, they can deliver it to you. Now, the prices are going to be a little bit higher than what you would buy from other stores. And that should be okay with you because you are getting a healthy plant. So visit a local florist or several and take a look at their peace lilies. And you'll see how healthy looking they are. And I promise you that their plants are healthy. Now, I'm not going to guarantee you that every florist is going to give you a plant that is 100% healthy. No. But overall, most florists is not, maybe not all of them. I haven't found one piece of lily that I bought from a florist that was not healthy. So... That could be a first time for everything, but if you're starting out, try the florist first. And that is my tips for today. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be I'm going to be telling you what do you do next after you choose the piece of lily and you bring it home. I'm going to be telling you what to do as where to place it in your home when to water it, what to watch out for, and how to continually care for it. And so you don't want to miss that particular video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And if you've already subscribed, you need to check the notification bell. And if you just subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you'll know when that particular next video is loaded. Because you don't want to miss any of these steps if you're in the market for great and wonderful and beautiful peace lilies. You don't want to miss any of these videos. So that's all for now, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.